Alright, tell YouTube, this is Ahim. So this is our this week's tutorial question. So Compressor 101. Take a screenshot and there is an address where you can shove the picture. If you know the compressor basics, it should go somewhere like so that it goes blah 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 and comes here. And with 2 to 1 ratio it goes somewhere in between. Blah 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 and when it goes here it goes bloom. And then it was compressing about half of this, so that's 3 dB, so it goes 3 dB down so there, and then brr, 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 it travels at 100 milliseconds back here, and then it goes. But I'm going to prove you that it's not right in reality. So let's make three mono audio tracks. We'll call this signal, then C1 and D3. I'm going to explain you why these are called these. So let's make bus 1 and bus 1 as input. And for here we put the bus 1 as output. So what we are going to do here is that we set the grid to seconds. All right, one second. And if we look at the picture again, we can see that we have one, two, three, four. Well, let's make it half a second so it's easier to count. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So half second, half second, and half second. So we need 500 milliseconds. So we need three, one, two, and three. So that is our signal. And if we look at, so we need to have it at 18, then to minus six, and then back to 18. So let's generate our signal. I'll just first put the volume to zero because nobody wants to listen to that. All right, so Avid signal generator. Minus 18. All right. And let's print that. All right. Plus one. All right. That's it. That's our signal. Now we can remove this one. All right. So let's turn off our signal generator. We don't need it anymore. <coughs> All right. So now what we do is that we take two different compressors. Let's take the C1 by waves. And let's take the D3 that comes stuck with Pro Tools. All right. So let's first bypass the C1. And let's go. Focus on this one. So let's take the settings here. Attack 100 milliseconds, release 100 milliseconds. It should say MS, but I accidentally forgot just to type the M there. So don't shoot me. So 100. Threshold at 18. And attack at 100 milliseconds. No makeup gain, no knee. And for this part here, what we are going to do for that is that we are going to add 12 dB of gain. So 18 plus 12 is minus 6. Alright, so let's see. Now if we check the peak here, it's at minus 6. Alright. So if we now consolidate this, all right, now we have it as a whole signal. And let's take off the loop recording because we don't really need that. So now we have the D3. And we can see that we are getting gain reduction here. So that's good. We are getting about 3 dB of gain reduction here if we check the meter, like it's supposed to be. And let's record that and see how it looks on our graph. Actually, let's make both of these the same size. All right. All right, that is our signal. And now let's disable that, make it inactive, and make active the C1. Let's do the same here. Threshold at minus 12, ratio to 2 to 1, attack. 100 milliseconds, release 100 milliseconds. And PDR, what is this? PDR. 
When PDR is at lowest value, it is disabled and the release time of com is fixed. All right, so we keep it at zero. All right, so now we have it at same. So let's mute this. We can see the same thing. We get about 3 dB of kind of reduction here. All right, so let's record that and let's see what happens. So we can see that our signals are drastically different. And why is that? I don't know. Please write them down in the comments below why I think it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and make good music. By the way, how long is this release and attack time? So each is 100 milliseconds. So this is about 100 and this, see, this is a <laughs> hey, 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 hey. One, one, two, three, four. This is like four. And this is um, this is two hundred milliseconds. And this is very long. Like four hundred milliseconds, I think.